right, at this point I'm supposed to put my veneer on these edges. Um, I bought the veneer, but I have no idea where my iron is, so um, uh, hopefully I can still do it later. All right, so this is my left side rail. This is the hole I drilled, and I have to put this bracket on the outside, it looks like. Um, this is awesome, though. Note, these mounting positions are different from as seen on the DVD. Use these dimensions. Well, it's good, because I didn't see the DVD. So hopefully we get this figured out. So the female pivot mounts on the inside, and the lower ball stud plate mounts to the outside. And I feel like I'm overthinking this, that it's easier than I'm making it out to be, but for the amount of money I'm spending on this, I definitely don't want to have to redo it. Oh, this is nice. Okay. That's how I thought it worked. So this is my left side. This is going to be the outside. And it goes on the top like this. Okay. Half inch. Seven and a half from center. I guess I wish I would have marked that already. That kind of sucks. They should have. They should have told me from here to here, and then from here to here would have been nice. Instead of referencing the ball, I guess it's if you screwed up, your hole isn't centered. I don't know. Dang it. And then I need a half inch here. This should be interesting. Here's what we're going to do. Put this flat. Measure a half inch. Alright, so that's the bottom. That gives me my half inch. And then I need seven and a half to the center of this from the center of this. Which luckily I still have my line. So I should be able to handle that. And that's with this. Okay, a little bit should be alright. Seven and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. So in theory, from here that's a half inch mark and drill a quarter inch diameter hole through each side rail oh I know ha right there Close. All right. Wait a second. It's supposed to be. Oh crap! A quarter inch. Well, at least I didn't do it too big. I did an eighth. That's better.
All right, next we mount the female pivot plates to the out inside. Yeah. Now it doesn't say to drill pilot holes, but I'm going to do it anyway. So now I need to use one eighth drill bit, drill an inch and a quarter deep, two holes in each section, and it doesn't give any dimension, so I guess that means I can't mess that up. So because I bought different size screws, because I couldn't find the ones they said, I had to change my size. All right, so I'm drilling and screwing in my first one make sure that it doesn't move. I'm going to do the last one. Then I'm going to lift this whole thing up to make it easier for the drill. And next we're going to drill four holes along the bottom. Again, uh, it doesn't specify. We got a tad overhang, but I can sand that off when we're done. And then two inch and two inch, and the bottom's the bottom's done. So I'm putting on the head rail, and you see it clearly sticks above these side brackets. But when I put mine in, it doesn't. So of course I go back and remeasure. And I measured wrong, and I'm an inch off. So luckily, in this cut sheet, you see this big wide open area right here? It's so you can recut all the pieces you did wrong. Two inch here. And then here it says use an inch and a half, but apparently Lowe's doesn't carry an inch and a half. So I'm using an inch and five eighths. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. All right, next I'm gonna cut off the face panel. I've got two of these to do. And this one I've measured a dozen times because I know I can't get another one of these without wanting to buy another sheet, so. So next I need to cut a square out for the leg um, unlock mechanism. So I measure 12 inches. And then I'm supposed to have a line down the middle. So I need to center it between the line. I'm not going to do that. Um, they just say you can route a groove down the middle to make it look like bifold doors, but yeah, I don't want that. So, 15 and a half. So then, let's center this on that. Oh, let me draw my 12 inch line first. the top center hole between edge of line score edge and line score which is what yeah, 15 and a half seven and three quarters Kind of lame, actually. Three inches. Two and a quarter, that's one and an eighth on each side. Just 
to make sure I'm not wrong. Two and a quarter. Alright, and I just gotta do one on the opposite side of the other piece. And then to make sure I didn't do something stupid and end up cutting the hole here, which I know I could just flip the panel over, but the other side of this panel looks pretty nasty. Um, I drew a little circle here to say, okay, that's where I want the square to be. So when I flip it over on the table over here, it reduces the chance of me messing it up. All right, so now it's saying to draw a line a quarter inch down the side of each side, but I'm too lazy for that. So I just, you know, I did a mark here, a mark there, a mark there. Um, and then we have to take this guy, which I kind of don't like this step. It's Set it here, and then I have to put construction adhesive on all of these parts. But because the brackets extend a little bit down, you know, this thing won't stay by itself. So that kind of sucks. And then I'm just going to roll it down and make sure that I have a quarter inch on each side and it's flush along the bottom. Lay it down. Right. See if I can lay this down without getting construction adhesive all over myself and uh, make a huge mess. One and a quarter inch screws starting in the corner, making sure that the outside edge is right. A quarter inch. And then do the top. And now it says to do the same thing with this side. And then we go back and fill in the middles. Wow, this thing is a beast. Um, it's definitely not something one person is going to be able to maneuver around. It's pretty heavy.